Holy cow. These are good now. <laughs> All right, 2020 Bowman Draft Jumbo. Case break number eight. These are your teams. Thank you, everybody. We appreciate it. Good luck to you. Bowman. Look at that end of Paul. Back in Washington, huh? So did Christmas turn out to be okay? Or was it just a complete shit show, Brian? Ah, I forgot to make sure this was out of the store. It's rough, man. Newborns, kids, parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles. I don't know, man. Well, that's the way I did it. That's the way we did it. Shut the fuck up. That was 25, 30 years ago. You don't know. and give everything up for this damn kit. <clears throat> well, not damn kit, but, you know. The little bundle of love. Well, you got two of them. Twins, right? all the dumbest stuff too you should do it this way you should do it that way you should hold it this way they shouldn't drink this they shouldn't eat that they should oh it's okay if they have this or that no it's not i said they couldn't and now you're saying they can you're contradicting me and you're only gonna be around for like an hour of the year Feel your pain, my man. I've been there um, a few times. Hell, with my first son, I lived with my parents for a year before I moved out. Ugh, that was. Ugh.
<lacht> Was ist das mit den Muppets? <lacht> Ey. At a certain point, they're just gonna eat like three things. That's what you can feed them for a meal. The worst plain pizza in the world, chicken nuggets, and whatever else weird thing they like. My daughter is like white rice. I want white rice. What do you want for dinner? White rice. That's not dinner, it's a side. No, I want white rice. It fills me up. I know it does, but it has zero nutritional value. You have to eat something else. No, that's all I want. Ugh, every freaking night. Yeah, mac and cheese. Most kids love that. My kids won't eat it. Like the easiest thing to make. Damn it. Would you just eat it? Uh-huh, had a little fun on Thanksgiving a couple of years ago, huh? A year ago, two years ago. My math's really bad right now. It's late. How do you feed them vegetables? That's a really good diet. I'm raising like Olympians. Okay, okay. Hold on to that as long as you can. Dude, my mom gave our daughter McDonald's when she was like two and it was game over. We were like, what the fuck are you doing? We've never done that. Why did you do that? It's over for us now. Thankfully, they both think it's disgusting. We don't have to get McDonald's all the time. Mike Siani? Werner Blakely? 19 out of 25. My wife was furious and as a result, I was furious because my wife was furious at me. It's a weird reaction. Tyler Soderstrom. A neutral bullet. I always wanted one of those. I got a ninja. I think that's like the cheap knockoff. Not that neutra bullets are that expensive. What are they like? 30 bucks? Josh Jung, paper orange to 25. That's good, man. It's important to ingrain nutrition into them, or at least teach them at least what it is and what they're putting in their bodies. Zach Deloche to four ninety nine. Someone told my son that if he eats sugar, that uh, he won't be allowed to have abs when he grows up. <laughs> and he believes it. 
and you know I'm just gonna let him believe it because whatever it's good for him <laughs> Is Gage Workman any good? He was drafted early. No, he wasn't. I'm thinking of the other guy on their team. Not Thorpe, but the other one. Adley. Ronaldo Hernandez. Reed Detmers to 99. That sounds delicious to me. That's not going to work either. Damn it. Hunter Barnhart for the Rays. My wife told me that if it's all they know, then it's all they'll eat. What do, you th what do you think Gorman's going to turn into? I was looking through some of my cards earlier. I have an auto of him. Bowman's first auto. PSA 10. I only had time to look at, like, 1.25 articles on it. Yeah, it's always the second and the third. You're just like, eh, I'm over it. Just eat something, anything. Oh, you want the food I'm eating? Fine, here, have it. I'm happy to give it to you. I'll starve if you're going to eat something healthy. You think so? Nice, Jay. Thank you. Carter Baumler. Hey, Jay. Have you ever thought about doing any writing or articles or blog posts or anything? considering all the minor league baseball you get to see and how popular it is with collecting. Robert Pawson.
Nick Garcia to 150. Pirates, uh, teacher. Ian Seymour. Clayton uh, Beecher. Yeah. Makes sense. What about off season? You could kind of plan ahead, I guess. Like if you find a little bit of time here and there, you write down some notes, things that you think it would be cool to write about, about a guy or whatever. Owen Casey, 71. Then when you have time, you kind of put those together right before, say, Bowman Draft drops or Bowman Chrome. I don't know. Just thinking. You know a lot. It'd be cool to find a way to share it. I mean, that's up to you, I guess. What do you, you want to? Right, to help people learn more about players? I mean, I guess you could leave some off here and there. I wouldn't mislead anybody intentionally. You wouldn't do that. I think a lot of people would. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not so sure that those kinds of things really cross over so much into group games. I think those are more like investors and flippers and people that don't want to take the time to do their own research. And, you know, I mean, that's normal and fine. I think we do the same things with like companies. We don't go look at their books and stuff like that. We'll just buy a stock because somebody said it was good. You know? That's awesome. That's it. 20 years, you guys are starting a blogging minor league baseball career. <coughs> I don't know. I'm sure it'll be really hard for both of you to want to ever leave the great white north of America. Might be really annoying not to be so cold all the time. Okay. Well, I don't like to place people too late in their age. I like to think of myself as like a really smart 17 year old. <laughs> it's 
experienced, not so much smart. Fifty-two, that's when you get to retire. Have you been with them the whole time? Brian, Brian was born 50. He's just like, I am this. Get off my lawn, you fucker. Brandon Fat, purple paper to 250. Zach Veen, refractor. CJ Abrams. Robert Hassel and Justin Lange. That's the 99. I, I don't know. Uh, Ladonsky to 150. Pirates. Tristan Lutz. How many do you think make it to retirement to be able to claim that? And then because of that, do you think that there's an incentive for them to make it not like the most awesome place for a, an employee to work? Casey Schmidt to four ninety nine. Forty-five to fifty. Wow. Logan Allen.
There are advantages of monotonous things. Austin Hendricks. I find it very peaceful when I'm sorting cards. If it's quiet around me. Garrett Mitchell, which is <laughs> rare. Uh, Kevin with the Brewers. Jaron Duran to 150. It's a cool card. Uh, Boston. Steve. Uh, I don't know. Detmers. Mason Wynn. Pitcher shortstop. <laughs> so, what do you think about Blake Snell, the, the Padres? AJ Vukovic, Diamondbacks, Frankie V with an autograph. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, dude, for sure. There are major rewards in, uh, Patience. Mm. Commitment. Torque. A refractor. Awesome. I didn't realize he was so rare. Is it just the base? Because Brian, did you hit some out of ours? Vukovic to two fifty. Evan Carter to seventy five. Hutch with the Rangers. Huh. 
Huh. Just been dodging you. Hunter Barnhart? Damn, I thought we were onto something that nobody else knew. Tyler Freeman? Oops, that's not the right stack. Trevor Halver, I guess that's a variation or something. Pete Crow Armstrong. Reed Detmers to 250. <laughs> that's true. Although I thought that this would be much more, <clears throat> actually. Like Bowman was through the roof. I think this is about the same as Bowman Chrome, too. I might be off on that. I haven't looked at Bowman Chrome for a case in a while. <laughs> I thought I would like the uh fender box type deal that they were doing but kind of kills it I think all of the value HTA choice. I couldn't think of it earlier. I think that's it. I think they called them vendor boxes the first time they did it.
Do you see any sort of reason for them to do that? I suppose mathematically it wouldn't be very hard to figure out. <clears throat> There's a monetary benefit for them. I mean, how many guys are on this checklist and how many guys were on the checklist of 2014 Bowman draft? It's more than double, isn't it? But also people want prospects more. I always wish they, the manufacturers would keep like a very public and easy to use, um, almost manifest or digital library of all checklists and what came with what and who was a redemption in which set and you know, everything that you would want to know if you wanted to buy a box of uh, 2010 Bowman and try to get a Bryce Harper and then pull it and find out it's a redemption and you're screwed. Like you got the money, you know it's in there, you think it's really cool, but you haven't been collecting that long, you didn't know. And it comes out, you're super excited and they're like, thanks for your money, fuck off. Asshole. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that was happening for a while, right? There were, um, for quite a few years there, guys that were getting Bowman first cards, but in separate Bowman products. Like for instance, they got a Bowman first card in 2013 in regular Bowman. And then again in 2014 in Bowman Chrome. And then maybe for exaggeration, 2015 Bowman Chrome had the auto. Uh, Eric Orzi. I don't think we've pulled him yet. Mets. In the poll. Thomas Sagesi, purple paper. I don't know. Who knows? How many employees do you think Tops has? In the trading card division. Because 
like their main business is candy, right? Max Meyer. Oh, Max Meyer Refractor Auto. Four ninety nine. Booyah, baby. Best accident ever. Maybe. Probably not. Twenty sixteen. What was that? Um, Acuna and Judge Base Rookies. Ed Howard. Um, Louis Gill, yeah, uh, like, I'm fairly certain, and I can't remember where I heard this, so, no, I think Panini only has, like, 50 to 60 employees. For sports cards or trading cards. Asa Lacey. I don't know what they're doing with uh, all the other things they're doing. The memorabilia. Um, all their stuff overseas. Sticker stuff. Ooh, it's not an auto. But I think he heard us singing to him. Grizzle Bees, little orange Robert Hassel. A few boxes left, too. Nice. Patrick Bailey to 250. Giants, also Grizzle Bees. Jordan Walker, people like him. Aaron Shortridge, Tristan Lutz, gold to 50. I thought that was going to be an auto because of the kind of color in front of it. Kevin. Ryan Murphy, purple paper. Asa Lacey, sky blue. Here we go. What do we got? 
Hudson Haskin to 250. I really like these. I think it's a pretty cool design. Uh, Orioles, the Huff. Joel Ryan. Matthew Dyer. Ethan Hankins. Purple. Luciano, Ancada, Bregman, Rovas, and Contreras. How much do those go for now? Four ninety nine. Twenty sixteen Bowman. You said hobby. Was the one? Let's get some. It'll be expensive, but it'll be fun. I mean, this is expensive. At least we know what the guys are going to be. Max Meyer. Be like a whole different field the Bowman. No more prospecting. Zach Daniels to ninety nine. Clayton Beater to four ninety nine. Zach Veen Green to ninety nine. Joe Boyle. Which is the one to get though? Does it matter? That's how we got into uh Trout. 
2012? 20, I think it's 2012 Bowman. Bowman draft. I don't know. Trout's rookie card here of Bowman. We were doing group breaks of that for a while. That in uh, 2013 Sterling. <clears throat> I think we had a couple 2011 Sterlings too for a while. In like 2016, we may. Um, and at that time, those were probably less than this. That's crazy. <laughs> I would do old stuff all the time, 100%, if it was transparent and knew what was going to be in there and knew what was going to be a redemption and knew what was going to happen if you did get that redemption, what they were going to do. Like, are you going to honor it? At what dollar value are you going to honor it? Say it now. Like... Yeah, yeah, that's one that's totally priced out. Like, you can't do that. No, those weren't good. <laughs> well, yeah, for the other side. Um. <laughs> Those were rough years, man. It was a rat race. It was scary. It was like, who can get rid of it the soonest? feel like there's a lot more immediate impact out of prospects these days also. You know, I have all these ad advanced metrics and all these new training camps and advanced ways to improve your swing, swing velocity and all these different kinds. Of, it's like, it's just evolved. Tremendous. And the kids are ready to go like right away. Well, a lot of them. Every year now. The, the league's young again and it's fun. Oh. Complete loss. Bath. Nasty. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, and then 2016 was the year of uh, married products. You take this and this and this for what we sold it for on release day, and you can have one of these. <laughs> and you're like, it doesn't add up. No, I can't do that. Well, I guess your customers won't have what they want then. Yeah, but they also won't have what they don't want.
one of the most absurd deals was um, you had to take one case of immaculate college football in 2016 immaculate college football and one case of NT college football to get two boxes of 2016 NFL national treasures football <laughs> and you had to buy them at release price the current price was like $200 per box under that. It was like, oh my God. Bryce Bonin. Oh, Tops Mint. Oh yeah, well they had uh, some terrible agreement with um, the leagues about how many products they had to put out. And now it's cool because they can do it with different SKUs through like Prism, Prism No Huddle, Prism end zone prism fancy version whatever those all count now and then everything else that they used to have goes into chronicles dude that one was so bad. Soul crushing. If you could find the sell sheet right now and read the advertisement, oh my God, you would laugh your ass off. Trey Cruz, four ninety nine. Liam Norris, blue to one fifty. What's the worst product you can remember? Other than the mint. Pete Crow Armstrong. Dominguez Refractor.
Yeah, that one was bad. That one was really bad. They said it was going to be really good. I didn't really take any of it. I think we did one case. Like, this is not going bad. <laughs> Even if it's good, it won't be good. Like, no. Thank you. Jared Schuster to 99. Now, there was one before that uh, in 2011 and 2012 that was just signature series, I think. And those were awesome, beautiful cards. 2012, they did the sickest patch cards. They were better than NT. Awesome. Nick Bitsko. All right. Last stack. Please be something. Big. Hadley. Robert Hassel backwards. Oh, look at that. A little variation. Shea Langleyers, blue, 150, and Evan Carter, gold, the 50. Jordan Adams. Drew Romo. Julio Rodriguez, purple. Jackson Miller, Reds, in DePaul. And then on a blue auto. All right. Uh, I need to sleeve some of these up and we'll do a recap.
<sighs> Sorry, V. Definitely sucks. Twenty fifteen tribute. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what happened when they put out that normal release or the like apology release? It was amazing. Except they made the like the whole case. Uh, instead of having boxes, it was just packs within the case. So you had to do like a six pack break to have like a half case break. And they were amazing. But yeah, the first set, ours, I think we did three and I sent two back. Um, but ours weren't smeary. Smeary, smeary. I don't know. I like smeary. So it's more fun to say. The, all of them were, they cut the checklist in like two thirds of it. It was just nothing but awesomeness. I remember there was like a trout autograph in every other break we did. And like a one-on-one trout, a red autograph trout. It was just it, everything. It was so cool. I love that. I would buy that in a heartbeat for almost anything. Weird conspiracy of the wave one and wave two NT things. What was that? To 99? Was that 2014? Hassel, Howard, Lacey. I'm not sure why I put this one in there. It looks like a base. Walker, Meyer, Hendrick, Pete Crow Armstrong. Variation of Robert Hassel. Yeah, they were just pumping them, pumping them out. Drew Romo, Hendricks, Torkelson, Mitchell, another Armstrong, Zach Veen, uh, Purples are to 250, Ethan Hankins, Julio Rodriguez, Mike Ciani, and AJ Vukovic, Liam Norris, Shea Langoliers, both to 150, Zach Daniels to 99. Tristan Lutz to 50 and uh, Robert Hassel to 25. Sorry, I cut my finger like right there where I slide the cart, so I just threw some tape on it. Uh, Eric Orzi, Joe Boyle, Bryce Bonin, uh, base autos are not numbered, Nick Bitsko, Hunter Barnhart. Carter Baumler, E.J. Vukovic, Garrett Mitchell, 
Max Meyer, refractors are to four ninety nine. Clayton Beater, Trey Cruz, Zach Deloche, Casey Schmidt. Uh, Patrick Bailey, purple the 250. Reed Dittmers, purple the 250. Nick Garcia, blue wave to 150. Uh, Mladonski, Jackson Miller to 150. Evan Carter, black refractor to 75. Owen Casey. I think to 71. Uh, Hudson Haskin to 250. Jared Schuster to 99. Evan Carter to 50. And an orange Werner Blakely to 25. That is it on this one. Thank you, everybody, very much. We appreciate it.